And here comes my assistant, Dr. Livingston. <laughs> How are you, Dr. Livingston? Good. Good. <sighs> Those idiots running around here raising all that dust up. Well, I've only been here a few minutes. Oh. I took off right after you did. Bear with me for a minute while I'm making adjustments to the camera and trying to decide how I want to video record the immediate area around us at Dome Rock and to show you the town of Quartzsite off in the distance. And what I'm going to do is set the lens at 600 millimeters and that will give you a pretty good idea of uh, what's uh, in the town and the RVs around us and then I will swing back the other way 300 degrees all around and show you that at 150 millimeters for a wider all right, view. This is camp. We, we are in the Dome Rock area. <clears throat> And you can see that uh, there are, oh, right there, that is uh, in the center, that is the um, Greyhound Cena Cruiser that uh, my old friend, neighbor Bob, would love to get. So look at that sea of RVs out there. The close by. RVs are uh, the ones in our local Dome Rock neighborhood, but the ones way down there, you see that building just right there in center. That is the Motel 6. That was an RC Cola, delicious. Um, so that RC, or a Motel 6, that is kind of like where the end of Quartzsite is and the start of Dome Rock begins. So this is our local neighborhood Dome Rock gathering of campers. So they kind of can just up along the road and then as you get farther away from the road it thins out a bit there's like an old I think that's a green old school bus there what else have we got so you see all those uh, ATV and side-by-side -side trails way off in the distance there's a lot of people riding those things around these parts. And we just kind of keep panning around here. Yep, the best way to see a lot of quartzite real fast is with a 600 millimeter lens. But yeah, you see all those uh, campers way off in the distance there. See, I think that's like North La Posa or West La Posa. Let's see. Straight down over there. Um, yeah, that's, that's the North and West. Over yeah. there, that's yeah. probably North. Mm -hmm. And then West to be on the other side of the hill here, mm -hmm. yeah. and then I was, I was actually out there, so straight, right where the Jeep and the trailer is, straight between the big one, and I was see. standing over there. Oh, that's where you took your pictures last night. Yeah, that's right. See, right. these ones are those ones. Actually, hold on. Oh, I was over there. Oh, 
was I was standing. You line up your finger here. Okay, that cactus See where the there. road. See where the road <coughs> dirt road goes out. And you can see the mountains behind it. I was up on there, and I was actually over behind a ways too. Yeah. So that cactus there was your friend. Uh, I walked by it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shake hands. <laughs> no. No. That's why, that's why I don't have a bunch of spines in my frame. <laughs> yes. Oh. There's uh, one of those little fiberglass trailers. Yeah, that's a... I wondered if that was... I didn't see any markings on it. It may be an all... They got so many of those that look alike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got the casitas and the other Ooh. ones. But the Olivers, I think that looks more like an Oliver. Hmm. Who knows? Now let's open up to 150 millimeters and swing back the other way. So there's our little hill there. <clears throat> A lot of what? Saguaro cacti. Saguaro. Saguaro cacti. Oh, here's your uh, goodies. Oh, thank you. Don't want to forget those. <laughs> Coyote food. Get this in the fridge. Yeah, we haven't even seen our neighbor there. Oops. You know, how stupid of me. I've got my... Uh, road camera here and I never plugged into it. Sheesh. Okay. So I believe that we have the camera plugged in now. What a concept. Not the camera, the microphone. What a concept. So that is the general neighborhood here, 150 millimeters. We gotta come down on the horizon a bit. Okay. here get that focus point back in that is uh, I-10 off in the distance let me uh, get back those mountains there you see we have uh, those mountains did a real good job protecting us from the big windstorm the other three days. We still got rocking and rolling pretty good, but we didn't have the direct wind on us. That's the thing about this uh, EOS 5 Mark IV D camera. You cannot take good video unless it is on a tripod. <clears throat> it's big, bulky, and uh, there's no video eyepiece. You have to hold it away from your face and watch the little 2x3 screen. And the problem is, is that you uh, cannot hold the camera steady like that. So, as you can see, there's a lot of people out here. 
and uh, where we are is a lot less crowded. Let me move over here a little bit. Okay, we're going to be turning into the sun too much here, so I got to drop the lens down out of the sun so I don't fry my image sensor with a powerful lens. And. There is Dome Rock. Unfortunately, the sun is on the other side of it, so it's all backlit. Let me uh, pause and I'll go to, well, let's see, maybe I can. Doesn't look like I can uh, manually adjust to this. So I'll pause here and um, go to manual mode so I can show you the rock face. Hang on. Okay, so that is the rock face, uh, the dark side, because the sun is behind it now. Let me just uh, brighten it up a little bit so that you can kind of see the details in there. And that is it. And more neighbors. Okay.